Hello and welcome to Playing With Science. I'm Samantha from Twinkle and today we're going to be looking at paper helicopters. Now these are really fun because there's lots of things you can change and they're really simple and easy to make. So you can have loads of fun playing with them and seeing what you can learn. Just like a real helicopter, they've got two rotor blades. And as the helicopter spins, it produces lift, which slows its fall. A real helicopter actually produces enough lift to lift it up off the ground. You might have also seen something similar to this in trees where some trees have little helicopter shaped seeds. This means that when the seeds fall, it helps them fly away from the main tree. This gives the seeds more chance of growing because it reduces competition for things like light and water from the main tree. So you can find helicopters in nature as well as on some airfields. So today we're gonna to play around with paper helicopters, changing parts of them to see how this affects their rate of fall. Paper helicopters are super easy to make. You've just got to get the template from Twinkle and then cut it out and then make sure you cut on the bold lines and then the dotty lines are gonna be your fold lines. So, off we go. So you should have something that looks a bit like this just with three cuts in it. And then you want to fold really carefully along those dotted lines and fold one forwards and one backwards. And then you can start to see your helicopter shape appear. And then you have got your helicopter. Then at the bottom you just want to secure it with a paper clip and your paper helicopter is ready to go. Now I've got some other templates here that I'm going to cut out as well because they are different sizes. So I'm going to make all four helicopters and then I'm going to see which one works the best. So now I have cut my three different size helicopters out. I've come to my launch location, which is my staircase. Now you want to be really careful doing this because you are you do need a height to drop them from. So whatever you are standing from or leaning, be really, really careful and make sure you're fully safe and have assessed the risk before you do this. So we're going to drop the littlest one, medium sized one and biggest one and see how well they fly. that was really interesting because you could just about see the littlest one looked fastest and then the bigger two were a bit slower. If you want to be more accurate at this, rather than just observing, you can do some measuring. So you can actually time how long it takes from when you drop it to when it hits the ground. And these are some of the timings we found. So that's really interesting. So now we've done that, we'll think about further about what we could change in our experiment. Is there anything else we'd like to do, investigate to see if we can make them go even slower? I'm going to start by looking at changing the shape of the blades and seeing what a difference that makes. So the shape definitely made a difference as to how fast the helicopter dropped. And again, rather than just observing this, you might like to measure it with a stopwatch to get more accurate measurements and actually see the difference it's made. Other areas you might like to change are, for example, the length of the blades, how many paper clips you put on the end. You could even change the paper type, so using tissue paper, and other things like card, maybe tinfoil, and see if that makes a difference on how quickly or slowly the helicopter drops. 
You could do this just by using one of the paper helicopters you've already made and draw around it using it as a template to then make your other helicopters. What will you change with your paper helicopter? How slowly do you think you can make your one fall? I was so intrigued to find that my one with zigzag shaped blades actually really did slow it down quite a lot. And the tissue paper one I thought would work hasn't worked at all. So it's back to the drawing board for me to see what other ideas I can come up with. There are loads of helpful sheets on the Twinkle website for paper helicopters as well, so you can follow through some of their investigations. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you again soon for more Twinkle home education videos.